Hello, I'm Ben Peters. And I'm Sarah Horn. This is Vote Ohio, the New Political's weekly video series here to provide you, the voter, with all the information that you need to know leading up to Election Day this November. This week, we will go into detail in each executive level position that voters should keep an eye on. They are the Attorney General, the Secretary of State, the Auditor of State, the Treasurer of State, the Lieutenant Governor, and the Governor. The Ohio Constitution requires each candidate to meet four requirements. First is to be 18 years of age. Second is to be a U.S. citizen. Third is to be registered to vote in Ohio for at least 30 days. And lastly, a candidate cannot run for more than two consecutive terms. Now let's take a look at each position, starting with the Attorney General. The Attorney General is a person who defends all government departments in the court of law. They help with training local police forces, and they investigate organized crime. Next up is the Secretary of State. They are the chief elections officer who manage elections, investigate election fraud, and oversee finance of statewide campaigns, PACs, and political parties. They are a member of the Ohio Appointment Board, which redraw the 99 House and 33 Senate districts in the state. Also, they approve businesses in Ohio. And now we have the Auditor of State, who oversees more than 5,900 government entities. They ensure that entities are spending effectively and efficiently. In addition to this, they investigate cases of government fraud. Let's talk about the treasurer. They're the chief investment manager of the state, which means that they collect and handle public funds while also protecting taxpayer money. The fifth position you should be aware of is a lieutenant governor. Their two main tasks are to oversee the Ohio Senate and to be second in command to the governor. Finally, the one who runs it all, the governor. They're the commander in chief of the state military and enforce laws. They have the power to veto or pass state bills, but that's not all. They also have the ability to line item veto, to pardon, and to nominate candidates when an executive position becomes vacant. Now you know the positions of Ohio's executive branch. Be sure to check back in with the new political each week for new episodes of Vote Ohio. Mm -hmm.